Hey guys, what is up? It is Carl Plankin with Plankins Networking, and I'm here with a tutorial today showing you guys how to host a private website in your house. So this is going to be a website that you can only access from your local network or if you have a VPN server set up through a VPN server. So there's no way for anyone outside of your network, uh, aside from VPN, that can access your website. This is handy for some people that just want to host stuff for... Uh, you know certain things for family members on a website that only they can access you know like pictures videos something like that so first thing we're gonna do is uh, when you are gonna need a server for this now you can either have an actual Windows Server 2008 version or you know any kind of server honestly or you can just have a simple Windows 8 computer like this one I have uh, internet information services installed on here from a prank I pulled on a friend. So you can do this from your personal computer or from a server, but long story short, you need to have a web service installed. Now for this today, we are going to be using Internet Information Services, which is Microsoft's IIS software. It comes pre-built into the operating system. All you got to do is activate it. So I believe I actually already have it installed on this server. This is what we're going to be using on today. I, and I actually don't, so we'll go through showing you guys how to install that. So if you're on a Windows server, it's really simple. All you do is open Service Manager, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it on both. Go to Roles, and click as soon as, as, soon as this populates and loads everything. We'll show you that. Okay, we're going to click Add Roles. Uh, we're going to skip this page. Next. Okay, you're going to want to come down here to Internet Information Services. You're going to want to click this and click Next. Uh, you can highlight anything you want to use in here. Uh, I want to highlight a few extra things. I want HTTP redirection if, in case I ever have to use that. I don't need any of this. I do want to install some authentication. Uh, for this, I'm going to do basic authentication, which is Active Directory authentication allows people on, active, on the Active Directory server user accounts to log into the web server. So I'm going to check that, then I'm going to click Next and then click Install. So that is how you do it from the server side. Now on uh, PC, you're going to want to, I mean on Windows 8, you're going to want to, and this is for any ver Windows version aside from Windows Server versions, you're going to want to come to Uninstall or Change a Program. You're going to want to come to Turn Windows Features On or Off. We're going to wait for this to populate. It should only be a second. There we go. Okay, and right here you're going to see Internet Information Services. Now this is going to have everything it had on the server that you can add on to it. Uh, and, you know, everything on here is yeah, add with your discretion. You don't. Everything that's checked is everything you need. So as long as you don't uncheck anything, you should be fine. Uh, you can actually uncheck some stuff like, for example, if in some cases, IIS manage, uh, Management 6 is uh, checked. You can uncheck that, but we're not going to. It's already installed on this computer, but that is how you do it. So we're just going to wait for this to load because we are going to be using the server for it. And uh, that's uh, personally just how I want it. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Notepad++. I'll have a link to this on my website, and I will post the link in the description below so that you guys can go and download that from our web page uh, but I believe I for myself I believe I have it ser uh, saved on my server uh, which makes it a lot easier for me so just let me go and grab that really quick yeah and it's right there but like I said you guys I will post a link to this in my description below so you guys can just easily download it and not have to look it up I'm sure some of some of you will be like, where do I download this? You know, whatnot. Uh, you can check any of this stuff you want to right here. None of this matters uh, uh, for the install. It'll run without any of that or with any of that. So we're just going to wait for this to install. And uh, we're going to run it. Actually, we're not going to run it because we need to run this as an admin. So next thing we're going to want to do is go to the administrative tools. We're going to pin this to our taskbar and then we're gonna start it now we're gonna come here we're also gonna pin this to our taskbar and we are gonna come here to this and run as administrator we're gonna click yes uh, no cancel minimize okay so we're gonna maximize this right now 
Now, I, I know what my IP address for this computer is already, but we're going to need that, so I'll show you guys how to find that. First thing we're going to do is click Edit Bindings, and you're going to see here, it's going to uh, ask you which IP address you want to assign it to. If you have IPv6, it might be this. If you have IPv4, it'll be this. Uh, if it's not showing up there, just go to Command Prompt and type in IP Config, and there's your IP address right there. So it is going to be this one right here. None of these other uh, numbers below matter. These don't matter. So just ignore these and only focus on the IPv4 address, which is right there. So uh, once you're done with that, just close command prompt. Now here we're going to give it a host name. For this one, I'm going to do random private domain.com. You can also do dot local or whoops. Or dot, you can actually do, do do dot pretty much anything will work here. Dot tech or dot prv. Anything you want here will usually work. I've done dot onion. I mean, I've done a lot of just random ones just to, you know, just mess around with people. Uh, so we're just going to do random for this one, random domain dot com. I, okay. And just so you know, you can actually add more than one host name here so we can choose another one for this and we can do uh, www dot random private domain dot com so that you have to type www dot uh, to get to it or you don't you know either way you can add another one we're just gonna add another one just for the heck of it just to show you guys you can do more than one uh, we can add srv01.com since this is server01 in my network. So we're going to click close. Then you're going to want to stop the web service. To stop it, just come right here. If it doesn't show up right there, you can also go to the. the actually, I believe that's the only way you can do it on this version. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. Sorry, you guys. Alrighty then, now that you guys are halfway through being bored, make sure to check out our sponsor for today. Are you looking for someone to take some professional pictures for you? Well, look no further. Whether it's professional portraits for a business website or maybe just some simple family photos for a wedding, Swanky Rumble Photography is the way to go. Make sure to message them via the link below in the description and set up an appointment today. And now, as promised, I will get back to boring you guys. So yeah, you uh, you just stop it right there. I uh, another way to stop it is you can also shut down the server, start it back up, or you can also stop it in the service manage or server management. Okay, so now that we have this open, we're gonna come here. We're gonna want to click open. Now we're gonna go to C slash Windows slash System thirty two slash Oh, whoops, sorry, you guys, my keyboard's a little bit broken right now. Slash drivers. Slash ETC. Now, it's not going to show up on mine normally just because the way I image my computers, uh, for some reason, it, it hides the ETC folder. Uh, on your computer, it won't show up as hidden, so if you just navigate there instead of typing everything, it, it, it shouldn't be hidden. If it is, all you got to do is right-click on your... Uh, folder, click properties, uh, actually it's not under that, my bad. Uh, you just want to go to, press your alt button, go to tools, folder options, view, show hidden files. So it's literally that simple, I don't need that though, so I'm just going to close it. Okay, so now that we're here, this is what's called the host file. It is a very useful tool in Windows. I use this a lot for stuff that... Uh, my router won't block or things that I just want to block or things that I want to host on my local network. I actually use VPN to because my uh, main server is actually at my parents' house. So I use VPN to get into that server and I ha I'm able to access all of my files from there. I mean all of my websites from there, from here. I, so we're going to do the domain name. First we're going to want to type in the IP address of the server. I, on the server, you can actually type in 127.0.0.1. Uh, .0 .0 It'll automatically uh, know that it's 192.168.50. Uh, 
I uh, or dot one dot fifty, but we're just gonna do random PRV domain dot com. We're just typing all of these www.randomprvdomain.com Whoops, 50 srv.01.com uh, Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to click Control S to save. If it doesn't save by doing that, just come here and click Save, uh, which is right there. I obviously already saved it, so it's not going to be highlighted or let me do it. So then we're going to want to come here and we're going to want to start this. Now, if you're using more than one uh, computer you want to set this up on, I, I actually have my host file already loaded on this computer. So we're just going to type this in real quick domain random prv whoops sorry you guys can't type it is 2:21 a.m. so cut me some slack domain.com Okay, so we're going to save that, uh, which apparently that it's not going to let me. I'm just going to do this really quick, and we'll reopen this. Yes. See if that's a problem, and save. Okay, and it did save apparently that time, so I'm not sure what was up with it before, but... So now we should be able to, uh, we're going to restart this just to ensure everything. We should be able to come here and type in srv01.com, and it should load the IIS page. Okay, and there you have the IIS page for that. We'll do random do prv domain.com, and as you see, it loads the same thing. Random, oh wait, www.randomprv domain.com. You can host anything here uh, if you know HTML. Uh, even if you don't know HTML, you can just... Uh, uh, there's a lot of places that will let you download your website and then you can just host it on your uh, network yourself. I, now this vi video is not sponsored by this company, but I do highly recommend if you're going to do this and you don't know HTML, use Weebly.com. This is actually what I host my uh, website on myself. As you can see, Plinkins Networking is right there. I do have the pro version. I mean, why not? It uh, removes all the branding and everything. It really doesn't cost that much anyways. So I do highly recommend Weebly, you guys. It is an awesome company. I have actually hosted my website with them for the last six or, actually six or seven years now. It's been a while. So I've been with them for a long time. And I'll be honest with you guys, they're website templates are awesome and it, it just really honestly is a breeze to do so if you're looking for something to do definitely hit up an account with them they do have free hosting the only problem is you cannot uh, you cannot uh, have your own domain on there uh, if you do want your uh, to use your own domain like plankins.com I will send you guys a referral I'll actually just post in my description a referral thing down here for every person that is referred as you guys can see I actually have a lot uh, so I actually haven't had to pay for my thing I'll have the referral code in my description though this will get you a free month of uh, pro which will make it so that you can actually uh, it'll make it so that you can add your domain and then after that month's over your dom domain's gonna be on there permanently so no matter what uh, you'll still be able to use that pro future you just won't have any of the other pro futures. So yeah, guys, uh, make sure to give them a lot, uh, uh, check out, and uh, I'll have the description and the link below. I mean, the link in the description below. Sorry, you guys. 
Alright, that's all for today's video, guys, though. Thank you so much for the support. Sorry for such a long break. I, I've just had a lot going on with school and everything. So, yeah, here's the link, you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.